タイガーウルフの奥義くらえ奥義リュウコロードそそんなためにためたミーラパイッチュが Hey, how's it going, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the Xenomorphs channel. Today we're building the high grade build diverse, the Gundam Jina Arutoron. And this is based on the Gundam Wing、uh, Arutoron suit. And unfortunately, we are not getting an XG rework of the Arutoron because this one is、um, based on the XG、uh, after Connolly, the Wing Gundam. So. Sorry, we don't get new modes. Okay, so that's it. And then now we can look at, look at the side first. So、uh, there's some introduction. And then at the side here, we got the introduction again. If you really want to read it,、uh, you can pause it here and then read the English text, but I'm not going to do it. So let's move on to the unboxing part. So, five packages and with an instruction manual. So, the manual said already, so it's based on the Arto Gundam, and then、uh, there's a lot of. So, it's basically a mixture between the G,、uh, the G Fighters, and then with the、uh, Wing series as well. So, here we got the pilots, and then the suit introduction, and we also got the、uh, model number, weight, and height as well. So, if you really want to understand it, I suggest you pause it here, and then you can read. The text on it, and then we're just gonna quickly flip through the instruction manual. You know, nothing really special about it. Alrighty, let's look at the runners. So, first, we got two F runners. So, this is basically the joints for the、uh, shoulders, the arms, the legs unit, and also the extended arm. This is the A1 runner. We got back skirt, front. Skirt, and then we got torso, the head, and then we got some part of the arms, the backpack, and some、uh, shoulders as well. This is a B2 runner and a B1 runner. So、uh, both of them contain a legs part, the front skirt, the feet, and then the joint for the、uh, arms. This is a D1 and a D2 runner. So it's basically the backpack wings. Uh, the kneecap armor and then the shoulder unit. And also on this one, it contains the front of the shield and then the head as well. So the head and the shield,、uh, is the color separation is by stickers. So I suggest you, if you have the time and if you have the resources, I suggest you just repaint it. Next one, we got C1 runner. This is for the shoulders. And for, I believe this is for the, I don't know, backpack, legs? I, I'm not really sure. Yeah. This is a C2 runner. So we got feet, we got、uh, waist part, we got part, one part of the torso, the head, and the shield. This is the E runner from the Wing Gundam. So, as you can see, we got the bust arrival and then we got all the inner joints and hem, hands option on it. So, of course, this is gonna left a lot of extra parts. So, and this is the A2 runner. So, exactly the same like A1,、uh, hand parts, hands part, arms part, backpack unit. And next up, we got two body caps and a lot of stickers. So, As I said, the stickers on this one is gonna be ugly. So if you have the time and if you have the resources, just repaint it, man. Come on, yeah. So, you know, we're gonna get to some building and then I will see you guys at the review and tell you how awful the stickers will be. Like you, be strong to hold the powers of the sun. Dream, believe in strength. Now I'm the only one, only one. I was an ordinary boy until I broke the rules. My life destroyed.
first time of today Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the review of the Jinya Ultra One Gundam. So this is the finishing of it. I honestly need to say though, there is too much disappointment in this kit. If the Tristan Gundam is the biggest disappointment in 2017, I think this one deserves to go on the list for 2018. Of course, 2019, we still didn't know uh, because it's not still at the end of, end of the year. So I would say my thoughts about the 2019s, but now this one, so this Gunpla came out at 2018. <clears throat> and now, we. I'm just going to say this fact. I'm going to announce it. This is my personal list. This is the biggest, this is like the biggest disappointment for 2018. Why? <clears throat> because it uses, first, I'm glad that they fixed the joint. They use the Wing Gundam's joint. So it kind of fits the articulation of the model of the modern models but then we look at the runners uh first they used other than the wing gundam's runners they use the very old uh Adron's runners if you look carefully on the runner's name it is a very old Adron's runners <coughs> sorry <clears throat> other than that and we can see there's a lot of unnecessary sticker being used on this model and i will talk about that later and i and I even cast in on the shields uh, sticker, and I even painted myself for the for the shield part. And I will get to that later. But first, I have to go into the review and tell you what is the biggest disappointment of this Gunpla. So first, let's look at the head. So the head, uh, is first part, the ball joint on the head is very unstable. If you sh if I shake it like that, the head. The, it aren't even stable so of course because of the head is, isn't stable so of course it's very easy to turn around as you can see it, because it's sloppy already and then the part on the the red part of the antenna or the forehead is actually a sticker which is the part that disappointed the most because uh, when i look at the structure it is possible to give you a separate piece to put it on but ben i choose to give us a sticker that don't even fit on it and may I suggest you, if you have the red paint, which I don't, I only have the black one, so that's why I spray the spray the shield. If you have the black paint, I oh, not the black paint, the red paint, I suggest you just color it yourself. Don't use the sticker. The sticker is ugly. If you look, take a closer look at this, it doesn't even fit in it. It does have a large gap in it. I personally need to say though, I love the design of the head, but seriously, that part is just destroy. The whole perfection next up let's take a close look for the torso so the torso i'm completely fine with it because uh i know it's going to use the old one so basically if you look at this like mm, why it looks like why it looks like the Altron's design well you're completely correct because i i'm gonna need to say though except for this uh this kind of shoulder parts and the backpack parts more like basically all the runners is from the very very old xg uh ultron ultron scandal is a very old model if you search it up on the internet you can see how old it is it's probably like 25 years ago it's probably like 20 25 years ago i don't exactly remember but um yeah but that's that's how Bandai do stuff so if you look at the torso the color separation i i will give a 
uh, a pretty high mark about it because it, it does give a good job. Uh, so the so the for the movements though, it is possible to move 360 because there's no interruption for anything. So is of course it's gonna be easily moved, and then we can choose to the position that you want it. All right, let's start the arms. So the arms that is the part that I kind of kind of feels okay but the the part that uh, at the side of the shoulders here i think this is this too is completely bad so first uh both of them the mouth can be open so you can do those anime attacks if you really want to uh so yes next up the part that i really want to set talk about is this uh it's kind of extended arm of the dragon fangs why because it's completely bad like look at this it's very hard to flip out at first overall and secondly it doesn't even move to all direction like what you expect in the anime or what you saw in the anime and i think that is completely a letdown they should probably give us a extra joint for you to move sideways now you can only face to the front and you you can you need to and you need to think about it the joint of the shoulders in there, the joint in there that I just showed you, the joint in here is actually not stable and it's very easily to pop out. And I honestly need to say that this is the biggest disappointment. And the dragon, and then the dragon thing here, of course, all the parts here is movable and then you can put it back as well. And then, you know, the eyes is just a sticker. And then for the whole arm movement, of course, it's able to move 360 able to go a bit front as well and then it, because it's using the wing gundam's joint so it is able to bend up pretty high imagine this if they use the whole ultimo of the ultron gundam i think this gundam uh articulation will be seriously bad and then and then the part that I, the part the second part i did complain is the so it is able to spin like this but it's very hard to spin it is very hard to rotate it around and as you can see i have to take off the arm to do it and then we don't have any option hands so all, what we got is just a simple hand like this and then now let me put down the to put down the shoulder first so of course the shoulder have three joints so you can adjust to the position that you want i don't know about you guys though but i don't like this legs first you need to do a lot of recoloring and i seriously meant a lot first part first overall a lot of parts should be black and then you have to repaint it yourself so which i did with a gun marker it's very simple first a uh, front skirt is movable side skirt is movable back skirt of course not so let's test the articulation so take to the front kick to the back and then bending completely fine and then this this is the point that i don't like because it's using the wing gundam's joint which is why the whenever you re-attract the legs it's gonna be looking very weird like this because the wing gundam is transformable and then they're using a transformable frame i mean the joint and actually it kind of break the gundam and you you understand what i mean later it actually kind of break the gun. Whenever you move the legs, you have to re reposition it over, over, and over again. And it seriously completely ruined your experience of posting it, posing the gunpla. Because why? You have to fix. You have to uh, you know rework the <clears throat> the legs position every time you post and it's very annoying and in the part on the legs though uh i have nothing to say though it is a simple ball joint and it's not possible to move side to side or up and down and then the part that i don't like the most is this piece armor here look at this it's sloppy it doesn't you have to push in every time so if you move the feet you have to push in the that piece that little piece of armor every single time it is just ruining the experience for you to make any poses so the part i think is kind of okay is the backpack first but uh this backpack joint is very good it, you can move a lot of a lot of directions so as you can see it is a pretty good joint and then we can move up the wings as well <clears throat> and then we have a shield here which you can be handheld which you can't make the gamma to hold it but you can attract it on the back so i'm not sure what's the function of this if you can't even hold the shield properly but that's fine so basically there's a free joint on the backpack and as you can see you can move to move the wings and the shield to whatever position that you wanted but honestly the part that i don't like the most is the hands and the legs part it is just a huge disappointment and first i actually forgot to mention this 
a lot of sticker being used on the shield but the shield i choose to repaint it although it looks kind of ugly now it looks like a sticker because um i didn't realize when i was masking the piece and then it went through <laughs> it went through the tape and that's why it looks a bit weird although i used some vinegar I use some thinner to kind of clear it, but it's starting to still leave a mark. And then a lot of sticker being used on the shoulder, as you can see, all the black is a whole yellow piece. All the other color that you see is just from stickers. And I think that is a pretty disappointing thing to say and disappointing thing to see because I I think that's another way that you can, you know, you you can do those do those um. Uh, you know, do those RG things where you sh where you just put the black piece underneath and then you just put the yellow piece over there on the top and then do the color separation thing. I mean, fine. I and yes, and yes, you can even see it. The legs can't even, the 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 feet can't even like hold properly, as you can see. It keeps popping out. Oh right, wait, actually, before we went into the uh, accessory part. I have one thing to forgot to say. So the shield one is the part that pisses me off the most after the legs and the arms. You know why? Because this black part here on the shield, they could have done it with a separate part. Like they do it on a lot of gamblers. They do it on a. They do the shield ones. They do the uh the impulse Gundam the the Bill Fighter series. They all give the shield the color separation that we asked. And meanwhile, they can't do it on this one. I don't know about your logic, but I clearly not accepting that because you can you have a lot of experience of giving a full color separation for a shield and you can't do it again in 2018. That is the part that I'm disappointing. That's a lot of disappointment on this gamble. I'm not saying that I would dump it, throw it into a trash, but I could say that. But I just want to say that Bandai really need to take a look at their models. They need to, they need to kind of step in our shoes and kind of understand what we want. And then, you know, can you guys at least make like put some put in some effort to make the model? Like you put it, you put a lot of effort, and I see it. You put plenty effort on RGs. And then on a XG Moon Gundam, and you don't put in, if you can put those effort to all the models that you release, I can tell you, you won't hear any complaints. Now, lastly, let's talk about the accessories. So the first one we got is a handle, which you can see here. So we got a pair of handles. So what this handle does is you can put it inside the uh, shoulder piece of the Gunpla, and then you can put it on on the hands and let the camera hold it. It kind of looks like the uh, special attack uh, in the anime, except it looks way bad. It looks worse. It looks worse on a gamble. So in the anime, it looks pretty cool when you have like the shoulder swing come down and then the uh, Jinya Aharong, you know, holding both of the you know, a tiger and a, and a lion thing. I don't remember which one is it. But um, when you're seeing, when you're seeing uh, he hold those uh, shoulder pieces, it looks very cool in the anime. But meanwhile, if you put it on the gamble, it looks a bit weird. As you can see, it looks like, it, it just looks weird, okay? I don't know about you guys, but it looks weird. And the other things that this Gunpla came with, which doesn't show on the instruction menu, is actually you can assemble the Wing Gundam's uh, rival because the left over part can exactly rebuild the, uh, what's that called? The Buster Rival. And that's basically the accessory. We don't have anything else. And yeah, because this is a close combat type Gunpla, so it, of course it don't have any big guns or, you know, big swords or something like that. We just have a very basic, you know, punching, punching skills and then you know one if you if you really want to put this on the gunpla i am not gonna reject i'm not gonna reject that but it just looks very weird <laughs> okay all right guys this is the end of the video hope you guys enjoyed this video be sure to drop a like on my videos and subscribe to my channel and i honestly need to say though there is a lot of disappointment on this gunpla i wish they put more effort in it but apparently they don't it, like by the way that you see they're using a very old mode for a kind of new design gamble and you can see that Bandai is 
a lack of you know effort and you can see the shoulders when you rip off and put it on the hand and let the camera hold it in hands it looks very weird and i just don't really like it i put if they if men are actually consider about you know if the, before they put the runners together like if they consider the looks that come out of it i think it will work way better but i can see what i saw on this gamma is lack of effort like a lot of parts can be do a better articulation or better or better joints or they can you know uh, add some details or even the color separation part but they choose to you know reduce the price i rather you list it a little bit expensive and give us a better gamma but they just you know reusing the wing gundams uh joints and then reusing the very old uh ultron gundams um runners and it's just it's just disappointing to see that and it's just it, it just feels kind of like the gamma's design got wasted and anyways guys i'm gonna end my complaining here Thank you for watching the review and I will see you guys in another and I will see you guys in another video. So uh have a nice day and goodbye.